Hey, this is Eric here with my Swell Pro Splash drone. I just got back from uh, from Destin, Florida, and I had a couple of issues with this configuration of the Splash drone. What happened was, I believe water got in um, through these screws, and maybe, and it's it is a very very apparent that water collects on the inner gasket. Now this is supposed to be waterproof, like it can land on water, float on water, whatever. But this little lip, this little recessed lip allows for water to get there and to be able to hang out there. And what happened was either I tipped it and water came off the, came out of these, these screws, which I filled in, um, but there were water in there. It could hold up, up to like eight to 10 drops and dripped in there or just the wind blew and blew the, blew the water off of the edge right into the right inside. And in there, it needs to be dry. Uh, it cannot stand uh, even the slightest bit of moisture. So my fix is this. This is just a foam pad that I cut a slit for the GPS wire to go, to go through. And what I do is I basically shove this in there. Where is the wire right here? So I'm trying to do this one-handed. I shove this in there like so. Of course, connect the battery, of course, beforehand. And it fits nice and snug. It should not affect the transmission quality of the drone because it is just a thin layer of foam. And what the foam does, it acts as a moisture barrier. Damn, my plug is in the way. Of course, this is with it. That's the connection that would normally be connected to the battery. So it acts as a moisture barrier so that when, if and when, you have any kind of water that can potentially drip off, it hits the foam, it hits a sponge. So that are, those are my two hacks that I had for this particular brand. Hopefully, Kevin and uh, Eric, the guys over at Swell Pro in China, can can hear this and see this um, change out the screws or fill in the screws with silicone add a barrier just a simple foam barrier which i used uh, high density uh, heat resistant foam which is used for uh, equipment cases for dj equipment and musical instruments and whatever pelican cases so that way, this acts, and, and if, this, if this gets water on it, it'll absorb it, and it won't. Um, you can take it out. You can sh shake it out, wring it out, dry it, and have it to where it can go back in, or just make it replaceable. So why have a, a paper towel ready and available, available when it can drip in anyways? You can have a paper towel ready and available to clean off so this doesn't get wet. But if this does, this acts as a fail safe for the, the components that are inside. So this will make it a lot more durable. And those are my two recommendations. Foam pad and plug your holes right there. Bam.